Shalom to the elect, giving all praise and honor, glory to you. How about Shimei Al Shai, Bishim and giving double honors to the elder apostles, the elder bishops, the great millstone, who well, peace and salutation to the 144,000 prophets of each of the 12 tribes of Israel, 144,000 collectively choice men whom the Lord bestowed the gift of prophecy upon them to preach to the rest of the remnant of the one third elect Israelites who are. <clears throat> going to listen and have the faith in Yahweh by Shem El Shai and be repenting for their ways. And of course, Israelites being so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and since our sea has been scattered across the four winds, you have Israelites that may look and appearance on the outward as the other heathen nations, but lineage by the way their father go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, which is the spirit that bear witness with our spirit that we are the children of the power. Shemel Mafa is my name is Mafa from the Great Millstone Plain Tablescape located here in the city of Philadelphia. <clears throat> Come on, lesson or we lesson. And just something like in the spirit. I was just watching Abadi Abuh. Uh brother Abadi Abuh from uh that's uh DMV area. Um GMS um title here, recognize when it's the Lord is speaking to you. It's the Lord. You know, he speaks, speaks much. And, um, um, <clears throat> say for example, uh, today I was at work. There's a Benjamite, he in Venice, though. Um, you know, I might hear and there have this discourse about being spiritual with him and stuff. And, um, you know, here and there I might be, you know, telling, I might say, you know, these times is rough, man. You know, these times ain't going to be like this where, you know, things going to just go on like how it goes. And then also, you know, different things in prophecy, you know, it speaks about, which, um, you know, brothers don't <laughs> obviously <clears throat> be preaching at your good job. You know, you have some individuals that might, you know, uh, you know, like uh, the Bible and scriptures and stuff, you know, that's all you and your discretion. But, you know, obviously don't, you don't want to be uh, getting kicked out, losing your job over the scriptures. This is uh, Sirach chapter 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all ancient and be occupied in prophecy. Yeah, and <clears throat> me, myself, you know, my meditation, my deep thoughts, I'm in the business of prophecy. You know, my, my, um, pretty much, um, let me see if I go into a dictionary. I don't know why this one got a dictionary up there. It's supposed to have a dictionary up there. But Occupy, basically I'm busy with it. You know, like I'm, I'm in it. Retain and taking possession, take up space, our room, ab, and and uh, cap here, which means to grasp. Cap means to grasp. So I'm in the grasp, over grasp, that is, over to grasp the prophecy, you know, which is the thing said before. And that's what, you know, we pretty much keep our minds set on. All right, as it says, he will keep the sayings of renowned men, and where subtile parables are, he will be there also. All right, and the scriptures are full with subtile and parables and dark sayings. And we're there, which most people don't understand. So, um, you know, um, I, was, I was talking about, yeah, like, you know, you know, these days, you know, things going to shift. And then, like, I was just like, yeah, men of the Lord are going to be doing some stuff. <coughs> and, um, you know, basically the miracles, alluding to the miracles, which, um, you know, the Lord spoke about some of the different miracles. Okay. And what the elect is going to do greater, you know, the men of the Lord. 
This is uh, John chapter 14 and 12. It says, Verily, verily, or truly, I say unto you, He that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And the Lord healed and made men walk. Okay. It's a, I'm just going to get an account, man. So we just prove all things. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 5 and 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Yahushua went up to Jerusalem, or Jerusalem, Jerusalem, city of peace, as in Hebrew. Now, there is at Jerusalem, by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew tongue, which I have to check it out right now. Um, let me see if they put it there. Let me just see something real quick. I gotta find it. So you have Bayath, which is a house in Chassad, is house of mercy. All right. It says in here, Beth Sedeth, but it's Bayath, Chassad, house of mercy, having five porches. In these lay a great multitude of impotent folk, of blind, halt, whither, waiting for the moving of the water. For an angel went down at a certain season to the pool and troubled the water. And whosoever then first after trouble of the water stepped in was made whole of whatsoever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had an infirmity of 30 years, 38 years, 38 years. When Yahushua saw him lie and knew that he had been now a long time in that case, he said, Will thou, made, will thou be made whole? The impotent man, which uh, I have to look up this right here, impotent, basically being weak, all right, disease, um, uh, the potent man answered and said, Sir, our Lord, I have no man when the tr water is troubled to put me into the pool, but while I am coming, another step it down before me. Yahweh I said unto him, Rise, talk, or take up thy bed, and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, and took up his bed, and walked on the same day was the Shabbat. All right? Then the Jews therefore said unto him that was cured, it is the Shabbat day. It is not lawful for thee to carry thy bed. He answered them, he that bade me hold, the same said unto me, take up thy bed and walk. That was Yahweh I said these words. Then asked they him, what man is that which said unto thee, take up thy bed and walk? And he that was healed wist not who it was, for Yahweh had conveyed himself away, and multitude being in that place. So, you know, Yahweh, as it says, conveyed, he pretty much escaped, or he went away, slipped away secretly. So he did the miracle and he got out there. Okay. Afterward, Yahweh finded him. A, in the temple and said unto him, Behold, thou art made whole, sin no more, at least wor a worse thing come unto thee. Alright, and we suffer because of our sins. Alright, the Lord wants us to be repentant. <coughs> it's ultimately the Lord that's healing us of our infirmities. Alright, so, I'm just making a point of Yahweh by Shem El Shai, by Shem Hey, you know, he's going to give the elect power as he had and greater, okay, and the miracles. Uh, this is now going back. The book of John 14 and 12. 
Barely, barely, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, he sh do shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my Father. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything in my name, I will do it. If you love me, keep my commandments. Okay? So, you know, just putting that there. You know, and I was talking about, you know, the Lord having saying about having, you know, uh, faith of a mustard seed, being able to move mountains. I mentioned about um, how Peter at one point had doubted. And um, he was walking on water. You know, and um, then... You know what ended up happening? Um, you know, I was you know saying this just in my little talk meditations out loud. Um, basically, uh, uh, two of these younger Jake, one was in a in a wheelchair and the other was, um, you know, walking right next to him. He was with each other, and then they looked at me, and I looked at them, and I greeted them. I did like a bow, and they they did had a pleasant face basically, cause uh, the Benjamite ended up commenting. He said they had a warm, basically, uh, basically a warm spirit, or very receptive, warm. And I was like, yeah. And I quoted that. I think it's Hebrews, the second chapter, or Hebrews. Gotta get that precept. He was 13 and 2. I'll start at the first verse. It says, Let the brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. All right, entertain, go back to uh, Felix. Enah, which goes into to have hospitality. You, know, you gotta, uh, you know, basically be friendly. Okay. You know, sometimes, you, like I said, angels be about, man. Like I see this other Jake, he had a white beard and I don't know, he had a coffee cup. And I was working and he, out of nowhere, he said hi. And I'm just like, that could have been an angel. He was tall. But these Jake, I thought that Jake was uh, in a wheelchair and stuff. I, uh, you know, I was like, I said to the Benjamin, I see that I manifest itself? See what I'm talking about? You know, and I, and I actually, I ended up saying, I was like, you know, man, the Lord, you know, say, like, Bashem Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Bashem Kakadash, in the name of Yahweh Bashem Al Shai Bashem Kakadash, I am um, Halak, you know, which is Halak goes into walk. You know, I saw now, you know, and, you know, hey, the miracle be right there. And then also, um, I had quoted also, I think, Psalms 110, because a lot of people don't believe in the words that we speak because they don't see the power. But when we have the power, they will. Psalms chapter 11, or 10, or 110 and 3, thy people shall be willing to dare thy power. And the beauties of holiness from the womb in the, of the morning, thou hast the, the dew of thy youth. All right? Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power, man. So in the day we get the spiritual power. You know, I mentioned about mounting up like wings and flying. And, you know, y'all going to see some stuff. You know, and that was basically it, you know. But things ain't going to be going on as if they continue to go on. You know, the Lord's going to rise up the men. I remember mentioning quam, you know, because another word is rise. And how um, I actually, in the spirit, I look up in Hebrew some of these different accounts. You know, to uh, speak it, you know, so I can get acquainted. But it's the Lord's words. Gonna, he's going to give us the words and, hey, it's going to happen. So, and I actually truly believe that. You know, I do believe the Lord going to give me power to heal you know, that's something in the spirit, you know, and I do believe it, so just let it manifest itself, you know, the Lord showing a man walking by, you know, uh, one man walking, the other with the wheelchair, 
in the Greek. So it could have been two angels. And also, hey, just let you know the miracles, you know, they on deck. So, you know, the Lord's speaking out here. You obviously got to pay attention. Um, also, yeah, it's another thing I was in the spirit. I was uh, in Psalms, the 25th chapter, but maybe I'll do another lesson on it. I was praying this morning, and it says, uh, this is Psalms chapter 25 and 9. It says, the meek will he guide in judgment, and the meek he will teach his way. You know, the Lord is going to actually teach his way to the lowly, the elect, okay? Those are afflicted, okay? He's going to teach them. Meek goes into the poor and the afflicted from I know, I know, all right? I know is the root, all right? He's going to teach, all right, and guide in judgment, so... That's it, do the spirit. Hopefully you're edified. Shalom to the elect.